Hi, it's Player Ban! Hey everyone, welcome back to Loretta! Alright, so I know in the last video I finished the game, but I know there are still a couple of endings that uh, I haven't gotten yet. So now I'm gonna go back to the chapters and kind of take the more aggressive uh, routes and options and uh, see where that takes us. Alright, let's get going! All right, so we're in the last chapter where we go to Margaret's house and we find that she has the manuscript. But when I selected shoe her, this time the sheriff appears. I'm not sure why he appeared this time. Maybe it's because I chose some other like red text choices, but now the sheriff's here. So let's see what happens. That's enough, Mrs. Harris. Drop the gun. <laughs> Bill, thank God. Sheriff, the red has stolen my manuscript. Arrest her. I found Fitzgerald's body, Loretta. Found the girl and her fella, too. Kelly, oh my god. It's over. Drop the gun now or I'll shoot. What are you waiting for, Bill? Shoot! It's time to stop, Loretta. Stop? Don't be a fool. What's waiting for me if I stop here? No, I've gone too far. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's... <laughs> I wonder what happens if, uh, let, let's do shoot Margaret first. All right. I pulled the trigger and ran. Ears of wet wheat slapped in my face and legs. I missed. Something whistled past my ear with a crack. My lungs were greedy for air. My feet sank into the sodden black dirt. Another crack and a pain in the back of my head. I didn't run, want to run no more. Then something pushed me to the ground. I collapsed in the wet mud. How foolish. It's cold. Walter, Johnny, my little boy. Mama's on her way. All right, so I guess um, if you decide to kill some of the characters, like Kelly, Mickey, and I guess Fitzgerald, then the sheriff uh, chases you, I guess, in the last chapter. And they didn't let me die. I've been having weird dreams lately. In them, human bodies melt like wax brought to fire. I woke up several times a night. My throat runs dry with thirst. My thoughts seem to run dry too, like a river or a whale. My forehead and armpits grow sticky with sweat and I can't get my words out straight. I ain't sure what I'm saying at all or what's being said to me, but I eventually open my eyes. The bright ceiling lamp makes me want to puke. They never turn the lights off in the sails. The little blue ring looks like an artificial sun, and its rays feel heavier than anything I've ever known. Okay, so now we're back here, uh, which is one of the um, endings that we got. I think if we decide to shoot Margaret or not, I can't remember which ending, but we, we did get this part of an ending before. Good afternoon, Loretta. How are you feeling today? Can you tell me why you bit Dr. Miller? That wasn't very polite. I can't help but worry that you'll bite me next. <laughs> Keep worrying. Cigarette? I thought smoking wasn't allowed. Oh, sorry. I sm thought smoking wasn't allowed in here. I'd like to make an exception for our regular guests. What? I need to run some tests and shake the state of your bones, so I'm going to schedule you in for an x-ray, Loretta. Who are you? I suspect there might be some damage to your bone marrow. Do you know what neurosyphilis is? Okay, well, it doesn't matter now. How's your leg feel? Any pain? What the drugs y'all are making me take? Nothing hurts no more. Well, maybe you should, <laughs> should have hammered in that effing nail, though. Walter played a cruel joke on you. Got you from the grave, that jerk. No. What do you mean, no? Come on, it's not like you didn't have any fun, right? Although I can't quite wrap my head around one thing. Why'd you chase her? Why not just grab the manuscript? The thought didn't occur to me. Didn't occur to you? You ever think about what's waiting for you, Harris? The chair? The gas chamber? Or maybe just a rope? Hell. <laughs> All right, so it's really interesting. Uh, neurosyphilis apparently may occur 10 to 12 years after you do get syphilis. So maybe the whole point is that Loretta 
catches this disease or, you know, eventually she dies from tetanus and another one of the endings. But if she doesn't, then I guess essentially uh, maybe the neurosyphilis is what's causing her to have these hallucinations and causes her to act sporadic and kill a lot of people. I don't know, but that's that's a theory. All right, we're at this point again. So instead of shooting Margaret, let's see what happens if we hand over the gun instead. Wait, what's gonna happen to her now? That ain't for us this sad. I hope you die. I know. I pled guilty. My story got written up in a couple of local newspapers. They even gave me a nickname, Black Magnolia. Honestly, can't say I hate it. It could have been much worse. The gym and the jury delivered their verdict and the Honorable Judge O'Reilly read it out loud. The gas chamber awaited me. Watching the events play out in my head like a film reel, savoring the details, replaying them over and over, I wondered how it could have changed. Could I have changed anything? At what moment did everything split out of my hands and crash to the ground like an old dinner plate? I don't know. But one thing's for certain, I don't regret any of it. The crystal castle shattered. The sands of time all spilled out. The gas filled my lungs. But between nothing and grief, I'd choose grief. Where is everyone? H hello? Oh, Walt, it's you. Did everyone leave? That's a shame. Uh, so what happens now? Uh, no, I don't want to go there. To tell you the truth, I'm frightened. I'm scared, Walt. Walter? Interesting. So I guess the last scene we saw before this, when they showed the bloody bathtub, I guess in the previous scenes we learned that Loretta fell asleep um, while she was taking a bath with her baby son, and I guess she accidentally fell asleep and the baby boy unfortunately drowned and Walter kind of blames her for it and everything so I don't know if that was like her guilty consciousness coming up but yeah I, I guess that is it um, I think we covered all the different type of endings that you can get now so again thank you everyone so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the series it was, it was really fun uh, entertaining and it's just I guess really interesting the, the mystery behind Walter the box and all the characters that like come into play all right I guess we'll see what happens uh in the next hopefully game that uh, this creator creates i hope they do something similar to this mystery and like a little bit of thriller and horror in it too all right everyone thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye all right so this is really interesting so after i chose to kill margaret all the font now like when it goes like study or like yard like showing where we're gonna be going next um, it's in red font now instead of white, and now with the sheriff here, the whole direction of the story is totally different. Now it looks like Loretta is about to like kill him with the sickle. So uh, let's see what happens. Are you using this barn? That door is uh, creaking up a storm. Uh, mind if I take a look? No, wait. What in the? Oh, freeze, lady. Wait, I can't explain. Put your hands up where I can see them. I said put him up. Okay, Walter. You didn't even give her time to put up her hands. Get up, Loretta. We got a lot more work to do. No, please. I can't do it anymore. So that's it? You're done? Palm trees, pina coladas, young, tan-skinned boys are still waiting within your reach. 
It's in the middle of the century, after all. Concentration camps, nuclear holocaust. Who are they to judge you? It's high time you become a master of your own destiny. Now grow up. Get out from under their oppressive thumbs. Throw off the shackles. Who knows, maybe you'll even write your own memoir someday. The world is your oyster, Loretta. Now come on and get up. Laura! You look like you've seen better days. What happened? Am I calling out Walter for me? <laughs> so now we go back in time. So if I click on this, it's going to loop back to Walter shooting me. So that means I have to choose one of these other three options for now. That's interesting. All right, I guess uh, let's see what other changes we can do. All right, so I'm in chapter six right now where the sheriff comes in and this is the part where, you know, he's kind of looking around and, you know, seeing if he can find any clues. And I have the option of giving um, this evidence of a letter to the sheriff, sticking the letter opener in his throat or passing him the envelope. So I did these really, I chose this one, I think. So I'm going to go with stick the letter opener in his throat. <laughs> well, that was a dumb mistake. Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, is this her talking? The sheriff saw it coming clear as day. Before the beautiful letter opener that Walter had thoughtfully brought back from the Philippines could get anywhere near the drunk's throat, he shot two bullets through the back of my skull. My last thought, right before my brains were smeared across the wall, was about how much I hated that awful god wallpaper. And I mean hated. Anyway, the crystal castle has shattered and the sands of time are spilling out. I'm coming, Walter. <laughs> the, uh, the music was just so happy. All right, well, I guess that's, that's one ending. All right, so we just saw a lot of ways that the story could end. But now let's see what happens when we choose the red text and see what Loretta does to the other characters. All right, so it's this one. How strange. We're going to Nevada. Word has us some Goomba opened a huge casino in Vegas. Name a peacock or something. Heron maybe? Oh, sorry. Heron maybe? Or Flamingo? That was it. They have these races out in the desert with crazy rules and major price money. Mickey's gonna race, him, race in them. A woman needs a house. It dawns on Loretta how she's sounding just like her mother. A drunken, lying, graying old woman who never realized how much trite nonsense she spouted off during Loretta's formative years. And I've been thinking about that too. Loretta, don't you and Daddy want to go back to New York? I figured Mickey and I, well, maybe we could live here when we get married, or we could even sell the house. You think Daddy would agree? Sell the house? Well, yes, uh, we need the money. Daddy told me he finished this novel. Hmm, didn't it take you long to clue her in, did you, Walt? I thought maybe he would help us, at least for a little while. There is something else I wanted to talk about, uh, uh, talk him about too. When's he's coming back, Loretta? Suddenly it hit me. It should have been obvious from the start what this rotten little girl really came here for. She was ready to build her laugh off of her worthless father's unpaid debt. She is, in all respects, the only heir to a supposed wealth, and while Walter's death is far from more beneficial to her than it is to me, I can't let her find out about him or I'm in deep trouble. Oh, how clear it all is now. So what are you going to do about Laura? <laughs> Just peacefully trim her bangs? Or drive the scissors into Kelly's car 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 carotid? artery? Um... All right, I guess we're doing red uh, text this time. So yeah, let's do it. That's a lot of snips for an artery. <laughs> Mickey's comeback. <laughs> sure is a hot out today. I could murder a glass of water. <laughs> oh boy. What smells so good, Mrs. Harris? <laughs> There's a tons of blood stain right here. So, what? What? What happens if we? 
if you just tell him that uh, we killed her, or what happens if we say, call me Laura? Or I'll say this, your dead girlfriend. Call me Laura. I'm making dumplings. I sure do love me some dumplings. Anyway, afraid to say your car has outlived its usefulness, uh, Miss uh, Laura. I changed the oil so it'll withstand a couple more rides, but that's as good as it'll get, I think. Pity, it was a good car. Kelly told me you know your way around cars. My father was a mechanic, so I've been fixing and driving cars since I was a kid. Also, do we not say that uh, his girlfriend's dead? Not, not to mention it's a real hit with the ladies. Speaking of, uh, where's Kelly? Whoa, purple text? What is this? And then here's the red text. Okay, okay. I'll do. I'll, I'll keep on doing the red text, and we can come back, and then we can do the purple text. All right, or the pink purple text. She's still sleeping. Oh, okay. Mickey walks over and dips a greasy finger into the bowl of sauce. <laughs> That's unsanitary. If that dummy can do one thing, it's sleep. Whoa. Okay, so it's like the pink text mean like we're gonna like hit on Mickey or something. All right, let's do. Let's keep on doing the red text. Do something like that again, and I'll put you to sleep too. What'd you say? Oh! Okay. I, I I guess Loretta wasn't kidding about that. <laughs> oh, snap! Okay, so it goes it goes right into the the demonic milkman. Um, that was like, you should kill Margaret when she comes. And I guess no one really cares about, um, uh, Kelly and, um, Mickey missing? All right. Well, I, I guess, uh, we just, we just killed both of them and we just continue on the story. All right. So let's go back and see what happens, uh, if we choose the purple pink text instead. All right, we're back to the part where we get to interact with Mickey after uh, Loretta kills Kelly. So last time I said this, but this time I'll say this. Call me Laura. Call me Laura. I'm making dumplings. I sure do love me some dumplings. Anyway, afraid to say your car has lived its usefulness, Mrs. Uh, Laura. I changed the oil so it will stand a couple more rides, but that's as good as it'll get, I think. Pity, it was a good car. Kelly told me you know your way around cars. My father was a mechanic, so I've been fixing and driving cars since I was a kid. Not to mention, it's a real hit with the ladies. Speaking of, uh, where's Kelly? Okay, here goes the seductive purple and pink text. I heard older models are more exciting than a ride. That true? <laughs> That's an interesting pickup line. Mickey walks over and dips a greasy finger into the bowl of sauce. Oh, jeez. Well, that depends, Laura. But older models definitely have some class, some spice to them, if you know what I mean. All right, so I know picking this, she's literally going to take that cleaver and, like, slam it into his face. So we got to do the purple, purple pink text. You really are slump the nails. What's your tattoo mean? This one? I got it in the Navy. Doesn't mean anything special. I always wanted to get one. Oh yeah? And where would you get it? Here? A little lower. Here? Here? Jeez Louise. Wait, we shouldn't do this here. Kelly might hear us. I want you to take me. In the hay. Oh, okay, so they they did the deed in the hay, or in, the, or in whatever this thing's called. You smell so good. Never done in the hay before. Hey, wait. Is that a joke? Laura, uh, this ain't funny. The heck? Open up, you hear me? I said open up. Open up. Oh 
Oh, right. So she she did the D with him and then she suffocated him with corn or sorry, wheat, whatever that is. Who the heck could that be? Oh, right. The demonic milkman. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, I guess either way, if you choose the red text, both Kelly and Mickey die, except instead of Mickey getting uh, hit in the face with a cleaver, he suffocates and, you know, like under wheat or something. All right, uh, let's uh, find out some more ways to for Loretta to kill people. All right, so after we killed Walter, Margaret comes to visit uh, Loretta and asks where Walter is. So I think uh, in the beginning I chose Walter isn't home, but now there's a red text, which is he's out back. Let's see what happens when we do that. He's out back. Walter's out back. Why don't you come on in? Walter, it's Margaret. You in there? Did something happen? Oh, yes. Why don't you run your little head about it? You'll be joining him shortly. So long, Margaret. Oh, snap. Well, I guess that's another ending. Oh, interesting. So now the background of everything is like red instead of um, white. Okay, so now we're entering into the next chapter, which is when the sheriff comes again. Okay. I guess we'll see if there's anything different this time. All right, so this is a scene where Fitzgerald comes to our house, or Loretta's house, and asks for the manuscript, but she finds that it's stolen by someone, but she doesn't do, know who. So the next part we get is that, you know, I'm begging you to stay in the town just a little longer, I'll get you the manuscript, or the red text, which she calls him a bad name and says, what do you know? So let's choose this one. What do you know? Ugh. Are you out of your effing mind? This is a $400 suit, you dumb c- That's his last words. <laughs> Dude, woman, you stabbed me and this suit cost me 400 bucks. Ah! Alrighty then. It's Cheryl's son and pass the to do me any favors, but I couldn't help myself. Seems like a single step onto this path means there ain't no coming back from it. But there was still a chance. A glimmer of hope that I could still get the manuscript before Fitzgerald's body was found. Fog and rain again. I raced down the slick road in a frenzy rage, heading to the motel that Chambers are on his business card. Okay, so interesting. So now it just continues to us trying to find ch uh, Chambers. Um, all right, so... Interesting. Loretta just goes on a killing spree. All right, uh, let's uh, figure out any other choices we could do. All right, so we are in the later chapters now, and uh, this guy, the investigator dude, comes back uh, to ask for Walter again. And so uh, now he's in the back, and conveniently there's a shovel next to Loretta, and the text, the yellow text is, you know, just telling him that maybe Walter's back in New York, and the other text is red, which is, he's in the well. So let's try it out. He's in the whale. Uh, begging your pardon? <laughs> Goodbye, investigator. Uh, Loretta, you, uh, doing okay? Oh, interesting. So we get like a, a different storyline here. <laughs> what the mouse is just e eating some blood here. Uh, Miss, Mrs. Harris? The, the door was open. Is that blood? Loretta? Are you okay? It's Sheriff Carter. I'm coming in. Oh, sweet. I get to play as this guy. Well, uh, let's take a look at this bloody phone. Dead. Probably got caught in the storm. I guess we can go in here. Loretta, are you here? 
Not this box. Oh, I don't have the numbers to this. I can't remember what it was. I got no time for this baloney. All right, let's shoot the box. <laughs> All right. Burnt pieces of paper. Can't make it out. Nice work, Bill. A key. What's the key? Uh, where was the key leading to? I don't remember. Broken record. Is it true what they say about Dixie by Al Jones? A Dolson. Is that the minstrel fella? Hello? Loretta? Oh, there's a three here. Oh, maybe <laughs> maybe we should have looked around the house instead of the shoot in the box. Okay, I'll go back and give it a try to see what happens if the sheriff finds out the answer. Oh, that's seven years bad luck. Oh, this is what uh, Loretta must have looked at in that last scene we just saw with her. Oh, another three. Okay. Anything in the bathroom here? A one. Well, looks like mirrors ain't got no fear in this house. Huh. Frank Chambers. Looks like the guy that just died in the last scene. Alright, so we got one... So we got 331. Discharge summary of Loretta Lou Harris. Date of birth 9-9-1909. That's a lot of nines. Female. High blood pressure, headache, sleep disturbance, female hysteria. Okay. Oh, what can we go in here? Nope, nope, we can't. Alright, let's uh go in here. Nope, okay, in here. Nope, all right. Guess, let's look at this blood splatter. That's blood for sure. Fingers crossed it ain't human, but when am I ever that lucky? <laughs> Moose head! Anything? Who on God served to hang this ugly thing on their wall? We don't even have moose around here. What the heck happened here? Oh! <laughs> well, there's, uh, there's Kelly. <laughs> Crap! I hear footsteps. There's someone else here. <laughs> the music's, like, getting a little interesting now. Oh, a bloody axe. Too much blood for just one house. Rats. I've got this thing about rats. Is there hair in that puddle of blood? There's a storm brewing. Oh, all right. Do we do we go downstairs or we just go through the front? Through the front door? Can't leave now. Do your job, man. Uh, I don't know where else we can go. Well, let's go through here. Or here. In the study. In the bathroom. Oh, we already went in the bathroom. And, yeah. I guess we can go back to, like, the living room area. Or the dining room area. See what's up there. Hello, anyone? Oh, someone's just playing this music. All right. Okay, just just skips to this. I gave away the manuscript. Fitzpatrick casually took his checkbook out of his silk uh, jacket pocket and wrote me a nice fat check. I couldn't believe my eyes. Thirty thousand dollars. Life changing money. I've got to admit, Mrs. Harris, I didn't expect you to come. <laughs> I didn't expect to either. Oh, this is totally new. I cashed half of it, took Chamber's car and headed west. I didn't know where I was going. I just wanted to get away from the farm and never think about it again. I kept driving until the very last sprig of wheat was long behind me. 
and intoxicating dry wind blew pillars of road dust into the air. When I finally tired of the road, I ran to the room at a roadside motel. Walter, Kaylee, Mickey, what do Chambers want? Turns out Disney didn't want me finding an answer to that one. Did I even, did I even want to find out, honestly? Margaret, you could say she got off lucky. I only did what I had to. Bury Kaylee and Mickey in the backyard. Not too deep, though. They'll probably be found soon, but I'll be over the hill and far, far away by then. Am I a bad person? Maybe. But I became a master of my own fate, Walter. At least they published your book. See, I saved your legacy, at least. I haven't been sleeping well lately. My head's pounding and I got this weird feeling, like spiders scratching at the inside of my skull. I... I'm tired. Gonna take a shower. Miss Chambers. He's not dead in this storyline. Good evening, ma'am. Will you be joining the festivities? What's the occasion? Oh, you know. But you're early, Loretta. You were in a hurry, and look what came of it. No, ma'am, this won't do at all. Let's try again. <laughs> Interesting. So, it goes back to this. So, if Loretta decides to kill Chamber, Chambers, then we get to play as the sheriff, who then, you know, she, I guess when the sheriff goes to the house, Loretta kills the sheriff and she runs away but eventually chamber still finds her so we have to go back to the turning point where she decides not to kill chambers all right and that's it we uh, covered all the extra endings i didn't get through the first gameplay and um, i went back and tried to see what happens if loretta chose the more aggressive routes of deciding to kill all the other characters in the game all right everyone i guess that is the end for loretta um i'm gonna post two more videos after this one that just includes all the endings and the other ones that's just uh showing loretta's interactions with the other characters mainly when she kills them um uh, but that will be it for Loretta. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and I hope to see you all in my next video. Until then, bye everyone.